home and today we are going to be going to Target to buy the Rainbow High Dorm. Let's go. I've not seen that one before. Should I get it? Guys, should I get it? I don't know. Heavy for me to carry it, so I'm gonna have to go get a cart. <laughs> it didn't fit in the trunk and it weighs like 50 pounds, but I got it. Let's go! Alright, y'all, I've been putting this off for a couple hours now, but I need to go get the dollhouse and bring it downstairs, so. Let's go. I'm just scared I'm gonna hurt myself. This thing is really heavy. easier than I thought. That was easier than putting it in the car. <laughs> hey everyone, it's me ex Canadensis, and today I finally had the Rainbow High dollhouse to review for you guys. I have wanted this thing for so long, ever since the rumor, ever since Rainbow High existed, ever since before I was born, ever since before Rainbow High even Rainbow High's creator was like a thought in his parents' minds. I have wanted this. So I'm very excited today to be reviewing it for you. Um, I managed to get it on this table, and I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get it off this table. This thing weighs like 60 pounds. If you are a single, small person like I am, well, I'm not single, but Brett wasn't with me at Target today, and you're going to go get this, I highly recommend you bring, like, a team of four burly men, because this thing is really, really heavy, and... Trying to carry it on your own, you're gonna get a bunch of like cuts and scrapes, so yeah. <laughs> anyway, this is what the box looks like. On one side, there's like pictures of the animation, there's like an ad for the car. It says, like, you'll have even more fun if you buy this $50 product. And then um, the house shows a bunch of fun things you can do, most of which is sitting or standing. My favorite activity that's shown is that you can take a bath on the roof with your clothes on. Bella, what are you doing while your boyfriend cheats on you over here? It's great. I wonder what the other side has on it. What the other side has on it. Oh, it shows what is included in the box. That's nifty. I don't want to spoil it for myself, though. I'm not really sure why there's a QR code here, but there is. All right. I guess I'm going to come up behind it. I don't know how to film this exactly because of how big this is. I'm just going to cut the tape and we're going to get started. I was going to record the process of opening this for you guys in, like, real time, but it was way more difficult than I thought it was. So, I've never assembled a wooden dollhouse before, so I can't compare it to anything, but it was basically like building an Ikea shelf set, if you've ever done that before, but more frustrating because it wasn't wooden pegs, it was whole screws. It was so frustrating, but I didn't want to go get a power drill because if I slipped with the power drill, it would tear the walls of the house, and I didn't want to do that. The entire thing is made out of particle board, so it's weaker than um like each piece is pretty weak so you have to be careful while you're assembling it like you see how that piece is leaning if you put weight on that it would have crumbled luckily nothing happened during the process of building it and the final result is really really sturdy and nice i could not believe how big this house ended up being it says on the box that it's going to be four feet i think but i don't know you kind of have to see it in person or next to a human being to really grasp how big this house is it is massive by the way the entire building process of this was three-ish hours, three and a half hours, and Brett didn't come in until the very end right here. <laughs> there he is. And we are almost done. This is me assembling the furniture. I was going to do this in real time, but it took 
a long time as well, so I decided to do it like this. But the furniture is really, really nice. This makes me really desperately want some more, like, Rainbow High playsets. I know we've gotten the closet before, but just dedicated, like, this is a living room playset, this is a locker playset, you know what I mean? And we are done with time lapse. I've Bye! I've come in a little bit more past the door so that I can show you this. So this is meant to be the dining room table, but I'm putting it in the living room for now. And it has this little water bottle that's meant for Poppy, and then this makeup palette, which is really cool. That was the one shown in the show. And it says rainbow high on it sorry about my nails by the way assembling this made them dirty and that's embarrassing for me there's a lot of white marble everywhere i actually hate white marble i'm fine with it as like countertops but when it's the core of an entire house i think it's really boring but i think it works here because it's it's like a modern mansion-esque house i'm fine with it i love this subtle rainbow detail that makes it look like the something coming in from the window i think it's really really nice over here is the couch and okay i was blown away by this while i was unboxing this the couch is squishy look at this it's squishy on the back the bottom is kind of just a softer plastic it's not squishy oh it is never mind it's squishy look at that how cool is that there's no couch cushions though um that's a big complaint for me there's no couch cushions at all there's a little table right there um i don't like when accessories are just painted onto the walls i think it's really boring so i'm trying to cover that um and then there are like really fun details on the walls like there's a little light and this rainbow unicorn cloud painting i dropped poppy's bottle um i love the crown molding in the walls oh and the chair rail i just noticed the chair rail and then there's this another light and the bookshelf is one of my favorite pieces but again i'd like to make it on my own like as a whole 3d piece and then over here we have a lamp which i would have preferred an actual lamp even if it didn't work um and then another one of those Alrighty, moving on over here. Violet's designated room is the bathroom. So Skylar's is the living room. Violet's is the bathroom. Uh, if you're going by color scheme anyway, you obviously don't have to. I just think it's funny. Um, and it's where they're shown in the actual, like, um, stock picture. So there's that too. All right. So there's this little thing. Excuse the packaging. <laughs> um, there's this little thing, which I, I don't mind this one. And then there's a toilet. This doesn't actually work, but everything else in the bathroom supposedly works. Like, this pushes because it's a working sink. I don't know how to make it work. We'll do that at the end of the video. I'll take everything upstairs because the house is made out of particle board, so I don't think it should get wet. So I don't really want to do that in the house, but it is a really, really fun detail that's really cool. And that's what the sink looks like. And again, everything's white marble! Um, I do like the where the rooms divide and stuff. There is a real towel and it's monogrammed. Oh, I just ripped the towel rack off the wall. Oh no, well there was a towel rack there. Looks like this. And you stick it in. See, this is what I'm talking about with like 3D accessories like this. It just looks so much better. Hold on, I'll be right back. It's back in the wall. So that's not that much extra effort, but it looks so much better. All right, so the bathtub works. Like the shower, this like button here makes water do something. I don't know, we'll see, but it's pretty cool. And I like that it's, um, instead of just being painted tiles, they're actually molded in purple tiles. It looks so cool. And I love the like mosaic wall behind as well in like a rainbow gradient. It looks so pretty. The windows are really nice too. There's a lot of windows, so there's a lot of light in the house. That's another issue I have with dollhouses a lot of the time is that it's so dark inside of them, but this one is extremely bright. It does help that I have my studio lights on, but still I am in a basement and it's super dark in here generally. And this has lots of light. I think it's really cool. I'm actually going to install lights into the house eventually as well, but I really like it as is. This is the kitchen. This is kind of the designated like jade room, I guess. Although none of the furniture is colored after a specific character. The only rooms in which are like prominently colored for a certain character are Ruby's bedroom and Violet's bathroom. <laughs> Sorry, Violet, you can sleep in the bathtub. All right, anyway. This is the kitchen. I love this kitchen. It's so functional and has so many play details. So this piece on the box is like over here. So literally like here. And then they put that dining room table here, but I like this better. I don't know. So I'm going to put it like that. The sink back here, um, I think that might work. We'll see. At the end of the video, I'll show you the things that work. And there's drawers. So this is a fake drawer. This is a real drawer. I'm pretty sure this is a fake drawer. It must be because the sink's here. Look at the details in the sink. And then these open to reveal 
shelves and that proves that the sink doesn't work but it's still really cute and then another there's the drawer i just can't believe all these open that's so impressive and then this um some of them you have to push the shelves all the way in so you can actually open the cabinet doors if yours oh my gosh sorry i look that color i don't know what's going on there um <laughs> if yours don't open and they're having trouble that's why you just have to push the shelves in place i couldn't believe it when i unboxed this but it comes with a toaster and it actually like goes up and down this part inside doesn't but this does that's so cool i was not expecting that and then this is the sorry the frosted flakes box very fun it's by the brand rainbow not kellogg's and then the built-in fridge thing this is a very like modern fridge that has the drawer it's not actually a drawer but it looks like it would be you gotta push that all the way in and then that's the freezer it doesn't come with a lot of food the only food it comes with is this little takeout box, which I love, by the way. I love that. Mine's misprinted, though. And then the Frosted Flakes. And then it comes with Glitterade! <laughs> and two cups for the other characters. Or for your characters to hold. So it doesn't really come with a lot of food. Oh, I just noticed that. Which is a shame, because I don't think Rainbow High's ever going to release more food. So this is all you get in terms of like branded Rainbow High stuff. I know the Poopsie Slime stuff came with food, but it's pretty big. Well, they're not even really food. They're the syringes are like themed after soda and stuff. Anyway, um, this is like the white marble backdrop for the oven. This is the oven like slides in and so does the fridge. And this is just its own big piece. And there's the uh, fume hood. That's the science word. I don't remember what it's called in a house. I'm sorry. I wish there was a place to hang this. Like, wouldn't that have been so cute to have a hook on the wall for this? But it's totally fine. That's the frying pan. And it has four burners. The oven, of course, opens and has a rack inside. I wonder if the warming drawer opens. It does. You can warm things in here. You can't really, but that's so cute. Oh my god, that's awesome. I kind of hate how that looks. I don't know. I know it's a thing in fridges to have, like, the screen slash window thing, but, like, I don't like it. Um, and then shelves... I don't super mind these. They're not like offensive to me, but again, I'd rather have had like shelves I could pop into the wall. There's orchids hanging here. I'm not sure if you can hang orchids like that. You'll have to let me know. And then these paintings. I really like that the um, Poopsie Unicorn is here. I love that they keep referencing the, the predecessors. Oh, I forgot to show you this. The chairs, which are these acrylic chairs. They're really nice. And then the little island I guess it's like a bar and it has space so you can push the chairs in it only comes with three chairs for the entire playset three like chairs for this sort of use this is a bar stool and it has a place for the doll to snap in so they don't fall off but you can also take this off if you want I've decided to put that in Ruby's room because Ruby's room is kind of empty I'll, I'll we'll get there um it's white marble and they come with these really cute plates and a full utensil set for each of them which is so much fun. Although the girls are gonna be fighting about who does the dishes because there's only two plates, so. <laughs> um, and then there's these little spots to hang things over here, which is amazing. I really love that. Wouldn't that have been cool to have over here for that? It's fine though. Um, I'm just saying ideas. I'm not saying like, oh, the house sucks because it doesn't have this. I'm just saying like, wouldn't that have been fun? Um, there's a shelf there with a bunch of detergents and there's the little hanger so cute it came with six hangers as if we already didn't have enough it's nice to come with them though but i really think the hangers came with it just to pad out the accessory count it's fine though this washer actually works it doesn't like wash the clothes but it spins as you can see it's hard to tell but it really spins so that's amazing and fun and there's little bubbles in there that's so stinking cute mga doesn't mess around when they make play sets like they really commit to it there's a track light here this is like a defect on mine you can see that it's just a paint defect it sucks but it is what it is and then the i really like the laundry room actually and i love that i could take all this out and make this into a bedroom if i wanted to like it's not that obviously a laundry room other than this stuff but you could probably cover that up but look there's sparkle which i think is actually a brand of paper towels isn't it maybe that's not supposed to be paper towels maybe that oh no it's detergent okay so those are tide pods i think and then cleans clothes fast no those are tide pods yeah i have no idea um there's windex <laughs> and then down here there's like clothes and then the elevator button so there's an elevator i don't know what it is with dollhouses and having elevators but the elevator <laughs> it leaves something to be desired it's really hard to use 
but it is there and it is cute like among dollhouse elevators i like it because it actually functions as like a balcony like if you don't want it to be an elevator let me push it up hold on okay <laughs> it can function as like a bay window type of balcony thing so that's kind of fun but yeah that's the elevator it comes on this plastic track and up here i could we couldn't figure it out because it says you're supposed to use these long screws but clearly that's not the case because yeah i don't know so i'm probably gonna use well i can use those screws for something so i'm probably gonna leave them there and hang things off of them i don't know all right and then in the laundry room you also get one of these so now i have three of these four actually i have four of these now i can't get enough of these i love them they're very useful and if you have avery's playset or three of avery's playset like i do you have more of them to play with and you can put one in the living room one in the bedroom so i've brought one. all of the water features upstairs just because i don't want to get the house wet in any way so we're gonna do it in my kitchen um, so I've already filled them up with water. Here's the jacuzzi. It gets pretty heavy. Uh, and apparently the jets work. So can you do a top down? Let's see how it looks. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> I guess. It splashes Aww. a little bit. Man. Am I doing something wrong? I think it just pushes up a little bit. Yeah. It hurts. If you go crazy. There's some bubbles. I mean, technically it's working. How did I already get a hair I in it? I as well tell the kids to put a straw in and blow. Yeah, that would actually work much better. Okay, um, I could be doing this wrong though, so don't take my word for it. Like, if there's other reviews that show it actually working, then it's just me being stupid here, but... Um, but it's fine, like, I don't need it to work, but the fact that it has this big unsightly thing means that, like, if it doesn't work, it's just kind of weird. But anyway... Next is for the shower. I don't know, I'm clearly doing something wrong. Um, I figured it out, so it doesn't say this in the instructions. The instructions just say, you can use water. Um, apparently, you, you pull this out and it should suck the water down. Oh, it's coming out a little. It is, <gasps> yo, that actually works. Yo, hold on, let me put more water in. This is actually cool, okay. It works. It would be really hard to have a good shower in here. Okay, sorry that Amaya is gonna be wearing her clothes, but I don't really feel like yeah, taking them off. Yeah, I'd be mad if the shower was working like this. <laughs> She's too tall. She's just like me. <laughs> well, <laughs> you know. She's just like me when I take a shower. If she sits. <laughs> I mean, that is really cute and fun. Like yeah. that's cute. Um, next, I want to try the sink because it says the sink works. I was trying to push that button because it looked tempting. Oh no. But nothing happened. I overfilled it. Um, okay, get down there. Is it? It's a much sturdier button. Oh. Yeah, it's coming out. Yeah, it's overfilled, but look. Yeah. It's really, really difficult to push the buttons. Oh, I got the instructions, but. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> it is insanely difficult to press the buttons. Like, it actually kind of hurts. Look, it left a. <laughs> but it works, and that's really cute. I was pushing that one earlier, but I was under it's the impression that I'm mistaken and that doesn't work because it was so hard to push that I thought I was going to break it. But... And you're a big, strong man. Um, this is very disappointing. It's possible I'm doing something wrong, but the instructions don't make that um, apparent to me. But it doesn't work at all. Like, you can get bubbles. I want to go grab a straw and just blow in it. I know, that would actually work. It would have been better to make this have lights. You know, That'd be kind of but cool. it is cute. It's very cute. All right, I'm gonna dump all the water out of these and go back downstairs to give you the final overview of the house. Hi friends, so it is finally time for the end of the video. I really, really hope you enjoyed the video. I'm sorry that it was kind of all over the place. My initial plan for filming it in every aspect didn't work because I was hoping to assemble it in real time for you. I was hoping to do a lot of different things, especially to have it on the table. I thought having it on the table would be better, but it took three and a half hours to assemble, I think. Um, but I did do it alone, and it's really difficult to assemble this alone. It's also extremely heavy. I think I think I said this at the beginning of the video, I might not have, but because I cut out the part where I was assembling, like the part with dialogue that I was assembling it, I, I changed it into a time lapse. So some things that I might have said might be in that part. But if you're gifting this to somebody, like you're gifting it to a family member or a kid or something, because clearly this is their big ticket Christmas item, assemble it first! assemble it first or you're gonna have a terrible Christmas assembling this thing. It was so difficult and the screws were such a pain to put in. It was such a hassle. Assemble it first, okay? <laughs> um, that's my biggest 
complaint, but it's not really even a complaint because they could not have put a dollhouse like this on store shelves. It just wouldn't have worked. So having it be assembled or having it where you have to assemble it means that you have to, or you get much more house. So this is, I think four feet tall. Yeah, it says it's four feet tall, which is unbelievable. It is so nice and the quality is really impressive. It felt like I was assembling an Ikea shelf and the material is literally particle board. It's just thinner than Ikea usually uses. Um, so it feels like it's pretty sturdy, like it's a pretty solid piece, it's not just gonna fall apart on you, but I think if you were to move it around a lot, it's not going to hold up super well, so definitely be careful if you're planning to like move. That's what I'm nervous about. As soon as I got done putting this thing together, I was instantly thinking like, I'm moving out of this house in a year and a half, how am I going to get this to my new house? Um, I'll find a way though. Um, it's really, 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 really nice. I really like it. I think it's so cool. I, I've i never had a wooden dollhouse before, I've only ever had plastic ones, and I have- all of them were obtained fairly recently, except for two of them, and I had a Barbie A-frame dream house, almost complete with all the furniture, and then I have the Bratz the Movie Mansion, I believe it's called, complete with all the furniture as well, and MGA's dollhouse design is really, really impressive considering they almost never actually make dollhouses. Like, there's very few dollhouses that MGA has ever had to offer, and man, did they deliver. I can't get over the furniture. I am pretty nervous, though, because if they never make more furniture sets, this house is a little bit empty. I'm not bothered by the fact that it's empty, because if it came with too much furniture, you would never be able to add more or, like, play sets that you already have. But if they never release more furniture that's art Rainbow High branded, you like you know what I mean you won't have as much versatility to the house I hope that they do but I'm thinking that they probably won't because the lol omg dolls have never gotten furniture sets there is a dollhouse for the lol tots that you can put the omgs in but not really and then there's also a house I think they just released for the omgs so maybe we'll get furniture sets I really hope so because Bratz did get furniture sets and the Bratz furniture sets are remarkable MGA does such a good job on the furniture sets my biggest um, anxiety with this house before I got it was that I hate, I hate when dollhouses have stickers on the walls or like printed on details. I think it's tacky. I think it looks stupid. I think it destroys any semblance of realism that you could have possibly had. This house, I think the designer had a similar opinion because it's done very tastefully. The lamps and stuff are on the wall and there's a couple of like built-in type of furniture on the walls like these counters and stuff but mostly they're the type that you could cover up and I don't mind the lights being printed on and I don't mind pictures on the wall being printed on but when it's furniture printed on it just makes me angry because it's like you could have just made it come with the furniture uh but overall it's not too bothersome the only room that it truly bugs me in is Ruby's room because all of the things that are printed like the table and the suitcases and the this is already a piece that we have the dress form. I already have that. Why is it printed on the wall? I could have just put it in there. Um, I don't know. I think it could have come with an extra end table and it could have come with a bunch of suitcases or even just let me use the suitcases that it did come with or the ones that I already have. So it's a little bit annoying, but I'll get over it. I really like all the furniture pieces, but the only one that has a function to it is that I like is the washing machine. Okay, I do like the shower, it's very cute, but this house is made out of particle board. Y you don't want to use water in it, right? It's, and it's a messy toy if you use the water. It's gonna get water absolutely everywhere, so if you, if you gave this to a kid unsupervised and they got water everywhere and didn't clean it up, it would really weaken the integrity of the house. So why have water features? I don't know, I just think that's a little strange. It is fun. The jacuzzi, at least mine, did not work at all. I could not get it to work. I got like a couple of bubbles. It was not very interesting looking. It's a cute idea, but the execution was lacking. The shower really worked. It was really fun, actually. The shower is really great. Uh, but maybe it should have come with like a waterproof mat or something to put there because that's not linoleum. It's just straight up like sublimated wood. So, or particle board, not even wood. So I don't know. I just think getting crushed up sawdust wet when it's the foundation is not a good idea. But it is really, really fun. I just think it's you should play with it outside of the house. It is cute though. Um, the size is really, really impressive. Again, it's four feet tall. It's huge. I, I did not think it was this big. I knew it was gonna be big and I knew it was gonna be heavy, but I didn't think it was going to be this big and heavy. You need to bring like an entire CrossFit gym worth of people with you to lift this and carry it out of the store. 
and to assemble it, honestly. <laughs> Um, I really like the size of the house as well. I've brought Amaya over to show you the scale. This is her on her super thick stand and we still have a ton of space left. This is almost the dimensions of like an actual house with the extra space. It's really impressive. And since these dolls are 1-6 scale, this is like an actually sort of realistic 1-6 scale house. Normally dollhouse furniture is all really tacky and unrealistic, which is fine because you're in the doll world, so it's whatever. But that's the thing that I don't like about Barbie furniture. Barbie furniture often is pretty good quality and pretty good molds and stuff like that, but it's always like obnoxiously colored, which again is fine, but I really love this. This is, and my, my brat's house also has realistic furniture like this and I just enjoy it so much more. It's so nice. It's so nice. I really, really love it. And one of my biggest problems with dollhouses normally as well is that the play space is often extremely limited, especially after you add furniture. And this house has so much play space, so much room for activities. And the thing too that I love is especially the kitchen. Nothing really on the walls, except for like a couple of details per room tells you what room it has to be. So you could make this into a bedroom if you wanted to. You could make this into an actual dorm situation where they all have their own room if you wanted to, which I love that versatility. I really hope that we can buy the furniture separate. I want a hundred of the bed. The bed is huge. Like, look how big the bed is compared to Amaya. You can fit like three dolls comfortably in the bed. It's super big. It's, it's realistically sized. It's like a full bed. It's not a queen. I mean, maybe actually, cause it's pretty wide, but height wise it's a full, but I think like width, it's probably closer. Isn't a full and a queen the same? Am I just spouting nonsense? I think they're the same. Sorry if I'm wrong. <laughs> but anyway, I also really, really, really appreciate that everything that looks like it would open does except this, but in a real house, if you've ever like had this fake drawer thing, there's, there's usually a fake drawer. So that's actually realistic. I, I just, I love this. I love it so much. I think it was very worth my money. I, I'm going to enjoy it a lot. And I can't wait to start making doll series in here because I've kind of been waiting on this to make my next top model series because it's like the perfect model house for them. Um, I think this is my new favorite doll house. I think my favorite doll house in terms of just the house is the A-frame house. I really love it. It's very classic. I really like the shape. The molded on details are really impressive, but like, as the entire concept of the house, the design of the house, the, the, the actual play value of the house, the furniture it comes with, I think this wins by a landslide. This is seriously impressive. The furniture is all so realistic and nice and fancy. The printing isn't overly obnoxious or in your face. You can use this for dolls that aren't rainbow high and not have too big of an issue. And if you really had a problem with the, like the few references there actually are to rainbow high in the house, Especially the Jet Dawson doll. That's just cursed to me. I don't know. Because in universe, we've never seen dolls of them. Is Jet just famous enough in the Rainbow High universe that there's a doll of her? And Ruby's creepy enough to own a doll of her classmate? I mean, it's fine if so, but it's a little weird. I think they just were copying and pasting some assets around and that's what ended up there. Um, but the few references to Rainbow High or Poopsie or like any of that, you could cover pretty easily with either furniture or just stick a canvas on the wall. There's doll sized canvases you can buy. Um, that's kind of what I want to do. Not because I hate the, the details or anything, but I just prefer when stuff is 3D. I just think it looks a lot nicer and more realistic. And I'm just, I'm over the moon. I am over the moon about this place that it's truly beautiful. It's, it's great. I really, really love it. So yeah, my only complaints are assembly time and water features being confusing or not working. But other than that, this is a really, really like fantastic play set. It's just going to be such a bummer if we don't get any other like sets of anything. Like I want more food. Specifically, I want more food to fill the fridge. And I have a freezer and nothing to put in it. Give me some ice cream. Obviously, I have other doll stuff that I can put in here, but I want more like Rainbow High stuff because the molds on these are really nice, actually. And I like how realistic they look. Usually stuff is really themed after the dolls, but the way these are themed after the dolls is that they're supposed to be parodies of real things because that's how Rainbow High is. There's always parodies of fashion stuff. And when I fill this house with, um, with the fashions, like in the laundry machine and in the, sorry, in the washing machine, it's weird that it doesn't come with a dryer, but I guess there's a clothes rack. Um, 
when I hang the clothes from different places and like really spruce it up, it's going to be so cute. So I'm very happy. I'm very, very happy with it. And I hope this review was helpful for you at all. And I hope the format was okay. I didn't want to watch any reviews of this house because I wanted to be, um, I wanted to be surprised when I bought it. And I was definitely very surprised. I was very pleasantly surprised and I really, really love it. Uh, so yeah, that's it for this video, you guys. Thanks so much for watching and please let me know what your favorite feature that you saw in the house was. My favorite part of the house... First of all, my favorite room is probably the kitchen. I just think all around the kitchen is supremely nice looking. It looks so good. Um, I think my favorite thing is probably the, the couch, the sectional couch. It's so cute and I love that the pillows actually work and it has this like pearlescence to it. It's so pretty. Um... Yeah, for all this time, thanks so much for watching. Bye!